Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ulogic and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you just what a successful pothos propagation by water looks like. So this pothos cutting belongs to my mother and I just decided to snip one of the vines off and give it to her as a present. Pothos are actually one of the easiest plants to propagate. There's so many ways that you can go about doing it, but what I decided to do is just take a cutting of the vine and dip it in water and send it off to her. So my mom actually wants me to pot this up and soil so she brought it back home from her job and she said Brandon can you pot it up for me and that is where this pot comes in so in this video what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys the progress that's been made on this pot though as well as just a very quick look at the transplant from water to soil this thing goes on this is where it begins it ends all the way down here I just want to show you guys a look at the monster roots that we have going on here the roots are incredibly developed and cultured into this water and for some really quick context this was done this cutting was done around june this is the progress that we have if you ask me it is absolutely insane and it does not stop there when we take this out we see some really cool things first you can see that it's obviously root bound to the glass just because of the fact that it's taken on the shape of the glass this is a big no-no this is how you know it's time for your plant to be transplanted into a bigger container put this water down these are the roots that we have going on here i'm gonna go ahead and like tickle the roots around what you want is for the roots to be facing downwards now you're not going to be breaking the roots but instead you're just going to gently tug them so that they untangle now what i really want to show you guys is this guy right here this cutting is so successful that it's literally been growing a baby even in the pot so this entire thing is an offshoot of the mother cutting i'm really interested to see like what are we going to do with this when we transplant it into the pot i really didn't know that my mother had the green thumb like that so i'm going to go ahead and put this into the pot transplant it and see where we go from there and i I will finish off the video with a finished look of the plant and like what I did with it. A really quick progress report before I continue. I didn't know that it was like this. When I realized that all of these roots were connected to this one guy, I decided to snip it off because it already has its roots established. It already can survive off in its own. He already has an area root growing there and he has a very established root system, he's going in on his own. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I finally achieved the look that I've been going for. Okay, so what I did to achieve this look is that I took some cuttings from the very bottom of the vine and I placed them in the soil. I made sure that I picked the ones with the best area roots because I know those are the ones with the best probability of success. And what I'm basically trying to do with all of this is that I am trying to go for a fuller look with the pot. So what I didn't want was for there should just be this one vine and then like this one baby. I wanted to make sure that the entire base of the pot was optimized. So by doing this, what I'm ensuring is that not only do I have a nice vine moving downwards, but I also have a lot of like growth and a lot of green going on on the top. And then hopefully on these cuttings, actually root and they start to settle into their new environment, they're also gonna be producing offsprings and shoots. A few months down the road, I wanna ask my mom to bring this back from her job just so I can give you guys an update video and show you guys the progress that's been made, whether or not these cuttings are successful, and you know what happens to this entire project at the end of the day but guys that is it for this video once again thank you always for tuning in make sure that you comment down below what your favorite part from this project is if you have any suggestions if you have any questions about this or you know just comment down that you like the video and if you did enjoy the video make sure that you leave a thumbs up down below and also make sure that you subscribe in case you're not subscribed already for more awesome plant content like this i really hope that you enjoyed the video and until next time Peace.